Now let's take a look at the track list. So here we have our track list full of tracks. So for each track, we have the track number and a color, and you can change that by right clicking on the color and going down to color and choosing the new color that you want. These are your different choices. Let's go ahead and choose this purple color. You can also change the name of the track. If you right click, if you double click in the track name area, you can go ahead and retype in a new name for your track. Next we have the arm for record button. This is used for when you're recording tracks. We have the Microsoft Sound Mapper and if you click on that you can see that you can change the bus if you're using multiple buses. Next we have our track effects and we also with this drop down we have our effects automation for our effects. So let's go to the track effects and we get the audio plugin and if we go ahead and click this button right here, we can add a plugin. And let's go ahead and let's choose the reverb. Choose add. And it shows up right here. Choose OK. Then we can go ahead and adjust it. We can also adjust it for this track. Let's go ahead and move our loop region. And let's play this track. And you can hear it. Let me just single out this track. And you can go ahead and make your adjustments. You can also go ahead and change the reverb mode, for instance, to cavernous space. Let's go ahead and accept that. You can also go ahead and delete. Let me go ahead and stop the play. So if I go ahead and stop this, you can also delete your effects by selecting the effect like this and then going to this little button, Remove Selected Plugin. Choose that and it gets removed. Let's go ahead and close the plugin, audio plugin dialog box. So let's go ahead and bring our loop region back and let's unsolo it. So we also have the automation button right here and we'll be going over a little bit later on how to use automation. And the drop down right here, we can turn off automation, we can do automation read, write and write. And next we have our mute button. We can mute a track. So if we go ahead and play it. And if I unmute it. We can also solo tracks. So we can solo more than one track. Let's go ahead and stop this. Right here we have the paint clip selector and if you go ahead and select this there's usually a drop down to show you the different clips associated with this track. Some tracks only have one clip to work with but you would go ahead and select the paint clip selector and choose the track that you want. We're going to choose 008 and you can just go ahead and paint it onto the track and if it has a circle right here that means that it's a loop and if it has an arrow like this that means that it's a one shot clip and then we can also go ahead and we can resize our track to see more information here we have the volume slider and the pan slider and that is a little bit about tracks.